What's up guys, I'm KB Kwan from Taste of Asian Food. Today, I'm cooking a simple Thai dish called Tom Ka Gai, which means Thai coconut chicken soup. Now, there's a misconception that all Thai foods are spicy, and this chicken soup dish will change your perception. Now, I do not mean that it is not spicy at all, because I still need to use some herbs and spices. But you know, when you look at it, the color is not red. You know, it is not very hot. It is white. And the main ingredients, of course, is the gai, which is chicken, and the ka, which is galangal. Another major ingredient is coconut cream. So let's dive into the details right now. Let's start with the herbs and spices. This is lemongrass. Remove the outer shaft, which is fibery. Then bash it. and cut it into one to two inches length. Next, galangal. Looks like ginger, but it is not ginger. Cut it into slices like that. Then the Thai bird's eye chili. Bash it so that it helps to release the flavor. Cafe lime leaves. So you can either cut it or tear it into smaller pieces and it helps to release the flavor. The next one, mushroom. This is shimeji mushroom. You can use shimeji mushroom, king oyster mushroom, button mushroom, straw mushroom is your preference. Besides that, I have prepared one chopped tomato, two medium-sized onion, and of course, chicken meat. This is chicken fillet cut into small size. Another option is to use chicken thigh meat. Now let's start cooking. Bring about two cups of chicken broth to a boil. I'm using my homemade chicken broth, but of course, you can also use the store-bought chicken broth if you like. When it comes to a boil, add the galangal and lemongrass, the onion, followed by the tomatoes, when it comes to a boil again, yeah, I also need to add the chilies and the cafe lime leaves. Beautiful color. And the chicken. When it comes to a boil again, turn down the heat as high heat can toughen the, the chicken meats. Now add the coconut cream. I'm using the fresh coconut cream, I get it from the wet market. If you don't have the fresh one, you can get the coconut cream in a packet. The last main ingredient is the mushroom. Now it comes to the last step that is to season the soup. Some palm sugar for the sweetness. Salt, fish sauce for the savory flavor, some coriander leaves, and lastly, some lime juice for the acidity. Now it is done, but let's do a taste test to ensure the flavor is balanced.
just add a little bit more fish sauce Garnish with more coriander leaves and it's ready to serve preferably with steamed rice. That's how to make Thai coconut chicken soup. It is pretty straightforward but you have all the Thai flavor all in one pot. With sweet, saltiness, sourness, spiciness, savory, everything is there. And I have included the recipe in the description below the video. Don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you again in some other similar video soon. Bye for now.